warning. Warning video, but this video will lead up to a very exciting video. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. I bought some tents at an auction and I don't know exactly what they are, so let's roll them out. Hi, and today we're gonna to talk about tents. Uh, so you know I like tents and I'm getting into bigger and bigger and better tents. In my searches, which I always do searches, I'm always watching for who's selling a tent or whatever, right? So I came across an auction of tents. Um, didn't know what kind they were. I just saw a little label saying, you know, like, okay, these are great uh, tents. These are the tents that I need. They were uh, possibly marquee tents. I knew they were vinyl. And so I um, saw them at the auction. So I drove out to the auction the very next day and I went and took a look at them. And sure enough, they're great uh, high peak marquee tent. So turns out their Warner shelter system uh, high peak marquee tents uh, from Calgary. So the same city that Les is from actually. These are our 20 foot marquee window walls. And if you get a tent from us. You wanna move the wall back, very easy. We're just flipping it in now, but normally Keep in mind, they don't have frames, so I have to go buy frames, but that's okay. I what size they were, and it was cold out, so I didn't want to unfold them and crack the vinyl. Plus, I wasn't even supposed to be in the yard. I was kind of just sneaking around the uh, the yard of the auction place. And um, yeah, so I bid on them, and I won them. And so I've got them, and this is my story about them. Check it out. P.S. Pro tip, tent vinyl starts cracking at about minus 15 Celsius. Okay, so at this point I've got the tents and I need to take a closer look at them. So this is one of the solid walls, eight foot by 20 foot. Looks great, just needs a little cleaning. And uh, yeah, it'll be perfect. So I don't know where I'm gonna roll them out. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some drop cloths, maybe go to my kid's school or something and just roll them out on the pavement to see uh, what I'm dealing with here. So I keep thinking to myself, where or where do I wanna unroll these bad boys? And then it just comes to me, why not on the snow? Um, so I'm just gonna unroll them on the snow in front of a, a school here. So let's do this. Let's do this. So after inspection of uh, the first tent top here, it seems to be a 20 by 30 marquee in uh, perfect condition. Just needs a, like a cleaning, but uh, here, I'll show you the label. So it's a 20 by 30 marquee. So I'll show a picture. Looks to be in decent condition. maybe like a small this and that, but that's nothing. There's branding on both of the tents. Any ideas, guys? Well, there's a whole bunch of uh, window walls and there's a bunch of side uh, Plain walls too. I mean, there's the whole tent here. There's even like a whole bunch of bags of four foot by eight foot walls. I think that they're meant for doorways, which is awesome. Very cool anyway, something I haven't seen before. So uh, if anyone knows about uh, four feet by eight foot walls on uh, marquees, let me know what you think. I mean, there's the whole tent here. I have to figure out some way to cover over the branding. Well, there's branding on the tents. So I still got a deal on everything because 
it was all just like $550, which is a steal, even if it was just for the walls. But I've got these brand new tent tops and I can't do nothing with them. So uh, we might as well try and make some videos of uh, maybe me painting them or something like that, or uh, get, buying a jug of pinhole repair and spreading it across. Anyways, you all tell me what you think and maybe uh, we'll do some experiments. So I called the manufacturer of the tent top and I asked them, hey, like, what should I do? Should like I paint it? Should, what should I do? He said, people have tried to paint these before. However, people before told me, you can't paint folding chairs. And what did I do? I painted folding chairs. Check out the video. So we did the sides and around the chairs. It's time to do the backs and the fronts of the chairs. Good. Like I paint it, should, what should I do? He said, people have tried to paint these before and uh, the, the UV, the sun just makes them crack. And you know, if you try to paste other vinyl over top, it'll just end up um, uh, getting, getting wrinkled. Wrinkles? How about I paint these tent tops and make a wrinkle in time? And I am determined to fix these. Um, he, he said I can obviously send it uh, into their company and they'd sew them in, uh, which is absolutely fine, but I, how much is that gonna cost? So I've got these two tent tops and they have decals on them. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some vinyl paint and I'm gonna paint them. So anyways, I did some research. I watched some videos of uh, people restoring uh, boat seats with vinyl spray and I found this stuff called SEM vinyl spray. So I'm gonna order some of this stuff and I'm going to uh, treat the tent top kind of like it was a, um, a boat seat vinyl repair. This stuff, uh, you know, you spray it out of a can and it's not a paint, it's not a dye, it's like a, a rubbery vinyl finish that bonds to the vinyl you're allowed to move it around and it uh, seals from marine so like wall or uh, like rain and all sorts of bad weather so I think I'm on to something here as long as the colors match I'm gonna be good we're gonna be good and uh, we're gonna go through this all together but if anyone on the internet has uh, any other better ideas well we might as well try them I mean these I'm not gonna let these tent tops go to waste when we can experiment together me and you, YouTube, me and you. We're gonna make a video of it. What more am I to lose? So this will be a fun video coming in the coming weeks. I'll order the stuff and uh, get all the information I need to properly paint these tents. Cause what's the worst? I mean, you paint over them. Yeah, they might wreck after a few gigs, but once you get those gigs in, you can already replace them with the money you made from putting the tents at the event. So it's a win.